quality mushroom manure at work <laughs> and play. We're uh, running in mushroom manure today from a local farmer here in South Surrey. Their trucks come and they dump it on this live floor here and, and the live floor just keeps it fed to this big 16 inch screw on here. That takes it inside onto its way into the bag room where it gets bagged and skinned. I'll show you where it gets stored. Okay, now here we're inside now. This is where the screw with the live floor feeds it into our building here and loads it onto this conveyor here, which takes it up high. Water is added at this point before it gets up and hits the shredder. Here we are on top of the, uh, the shredder now. So here's where it comes when it comes out of the live floor get sent up to this beast which just shreds the ever-living daylights out of the manure. After it's all shredded it drops down onto the second stage. This revolving set of uh, urethane stars where it separates all the garbage out. The garbage stays on top which finds its way out to the garbage bin in the back. The, finely, the fine material falls through the little gaps onto the conveyor belt, which takes it to the next stage. Okay. Here we are now in the next part of the process, and not all material gets exposed to this process. Certain products need the requirement, like chicken manure is one of the ones, right? Kind of yummy. It comes in, and it can go directly into that big hammer mill there, which cleans it up even further, and then it takes it and blows it into the storage bin. the control panel for the for our machinery here. This is the brain tree up that this allows us to be totally automated. It keeps material flowing in, processing it, and keeps sending over next door what has to be done. So I'll set it up now and I won't have to touch it again for at least another week. So we are just oh now when product starts to get a little excessive in moisture, it starts to mock up. Once it mocks up, it does not want to go through the scale. And how all the industry deals with it is you add wood, you know, ground wood. But wood is very negative in growth products because it has no nutrient value. Our suppliers know that we prefer straw as bedding instead of wood. So they do their utmost to limit the quantity of wood in all our products. And we don't add any wood at all. All the bins. We have these in the back and at the front. This, these all feed information to the controller, which just control. Because each bin here can hold 100 meters of rock. The hammer's all shredded. Just flows. There's no lumps. There's no no turd balls. No grease. No wood. Right. Just proper maintenance of the feedstock material from farm to bag. Over here is the uh, output side of the blender. Now, in the blender is where we blend the material and ozonate it. Now, we use ozone as a uh, sanitizer. It cleans up a lot of insects, mostly bacteria, algae, fungus, that kind of thing. It, it basically bleaches the product. Okay, now here, this is where we uh, start sending the material out of the, the mixer and on its way to the bag room, where's where we work. Get our products. Now our products are all wrapped in a uh, in a UV stable black wrap. 